everyone seems to be claiming the uh, the first and second screen relationship with mobile at the moment, uh, whether that's outdoor or whether that's TV. Um, and I think you know what's really clear is that mobile actually is just the connective tissue across all traditional media channels. Um, you know, absolutely, there's a strong argument that you know mobile and TV have the strongest have the strongest relationship. Um, and actually, individually, they're both in really rude health. You know, you look at the TV industry. Um, you know, their revenue is going to be about 3.9 billion this year. The TV viewings up. Um, you know, people were spending four and a half hours a day watching what people regard to be the first screen. And then you've got the what we're calling the second screen, mobile. And again, that's in rude health. You know, e marketer is suggesting that's going to be a two billion pound industry this year. Um, you know, we've got reports suggesting it represents 21% of people's daily media lives and two and a half hours um, is consumed on a, on a smartphone. So you've got two different screens that are in extremely rude health and actually they do complement each other really well. Um, I think, you know, the, the relationship between mobile and TV is absolutely the strongest um, between the two and, you know, I think it's important to explore first the dynamic when people are um, multi-screening. So Nielsen came out with a report that suggested 88% um, of all uh, mobile users are effectively dual screening. 88% of all tablet users are dual screening. 86% of mobile users are dual screening, which is phenomenal, which you know, just demonstrates how pervasive it is across the UK population. The vast majority of people are dual screening. And within that, you've got people who are uh, either stacking, what we call stacking, or, or, or meshing. So, you know, people who are stacking, that's three quarters of the UK population are stacking. They're con and stacking is consuming um, media content or consuming content on your mobile device while watching the TV, unrelated content to the TV programme. Or you've got meshing, people who are, and that's the other 25% of people, who are consuming content on their mobile device that's related to the TV programme. So you've got these two different dynamics going on, and as an, as an agency and you know, responsible for our, our, our clients, it's our responsibility to make sure we're maximising the impact of uh, our clients' TV spending, but equally the mobile spending. We know that when you add mobile to the mix, and actually this applies to most media channels, that it has a multiplier effect. So you know, we have recently, we've got a, a, a global partnership with Twitter, and as part of that global partnership, um, we've just conducted some research and, it, and basically some of the outputs of that research suggest that when you, um, when you support TV advertising with promoted tweets, uh, your awareness scores go up by 6%, your favourability goes up by 4%, um, sales go up by 6% and by increasing your spend by 4%, your ROI increases by 50%. So that's a brilliant example of when you layer on Twitter advertising with TV advertising you see a significant impact. And you know, and there are TV synchronisation companies out there um, that are able to recognise when your TV spot is transmitted and it deploys mobile advertising there and then. Um, the pure uh, example of planned serendipity. And, and, and again, we see an exponential uplift when we, we, you know, when we align our mobile advertising with, um, with our TV advertising. So I think you know, as advertisers, we have to become uh, more sophisticated in terms of aligning our mobile advertising with our TV advertising. We know mobile is the connective tissue, but I think mobile should be more regarded as actually an amplifier across all media channels. And you know, one of our travel clients, we've added mobile to the mix in display, for instance. And you know, mobile added to the display mix against a control mix, uh, controlled group where there was just display advertising. Again, it accelerated the purchase journey, it increased the conversion rate, and it reduced CPA by about 30%. So it, mobile is the connective tissue, but it's also the amplifier across all media channels. Mobile programmatic is, again, you know, it's in a, it's a, in a great place and arguably um, in terms of the forecast over the next two or three years will overtake actually desktop display from a programmatic point of view. Um, it has its challenges, mobile, because of the, the lack of cookies um, and the lack of a consistent user ID across the ecosystem. Um, but despite that, it's still seeing sub, you know, substantial growth. Um, you know, in some instances, four or five hundred percent growth, um, which is pretty phenomenal. I think you know, from a from a mobile video point of view, um, you know, it's clearly behind the curve versus the tr traditional display. Um, I think that's from an infantry point of view to a certain extent, um, and I think actually from an education point of view as well, which you know, as an agency, we're you know we're uh, firmly focused on and in trying to make sure that 
Um, actually, um, mobile video, you know, some of the assets from your TV can be repurposed and used within mobile, the mobile video environment. But I think the, you know, the creative assets are one of the challenges uh, in that instance. We're in a situation where we are seeing phenomenal growth within mobile. Um, but when you look at the headline figures within mobile, they are being massively driven by uh, paid social uh, and paid search, actually, you know, the mobile component of those. And that's, to a certain extent, driven by consumer behaviour as opposed to advertisers changing their behaviour. Um, so I think when you take away the, uh, the, when you look at the two billion sort of growth, or sort of the two billion um, in terms of mobile spend by the end of 2014, I think mobile display represents about 20% of that. Um, I think you know, the big growth will come in you know, the rich media. Again, that's still um, behind, the, you know, behind the adoption curve, I would argue, and mobile video. But I think you know, that within the industry itself, there needs to be uh, greater uh, case studies and effectiveness studies around the accountability of mobile and going back to the, you know, the lack of cookies within the industry. You know, that, to a certain extent, is holding mobile back because, as you say, you know, the real estate on the mobile phone is, is limited and we know it's having an impact across the entire journey um, but not necessarily the last click, not necessarily the last conversion point. And so working with you know, some of the uh, um, you know, cross-platform players out there, we're starting to get an understanding of the role mobile is playing. So you know, the case study I referred to earlier, one of our travel clients, where understanding actually, even though mobile is not actually converting the sale, it's having a massive impact in terms of the contribution towards that sale. Uh, and, as, and as I said, you know, adding mobile to that journey uh, increased the conversion, the accelerated the purchase journey, reduced the CPA. We need more case studies like that because that is a, you know, a robust demonstration of the role and the value mobile is playing. And as soon as we can start to merchandise those across more clients, I think that will be the catalyst for the explosion of mobile spend. I don't think there's probably one single technology that's going to transform the industry. I think you know, the emergence of the wearable category uh, and the connectivity of uh, you know, uh, watches, the imminent um, uh, scrutiny over what Apple are going to do in that space. I think beacons, for instance, although they're still nascent and they're still really restricted within the retail environment, um, will start to open up revenue streams. Um, programmatic will become more sophisticated and there'll be a unified user ID um, that will make it more accountable. Um, I think we'll get more sophisticated using clients' first party data, which again will amplify, amplify and accelerate our mobile spend. So I don't think there's one piece of technology that's going to emerge that will necessarily transform the marketplace, but I, but I see it being a, you know, a number of different um, technologies emerging sort of simultaneously.